Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at an impulse relay. This is a Schneider N9C30115 modular impulse relay. It is a changeover contact with one normally open contact that is 3 and 4 and one normally closed contact that is 1 and 2. It is rated 16 amps with an operating voltage for its auxiliary contact ranging from 24 volts AC to 250 volts AC with an operating coil voltage of 24 volts AC that is A1 and A2. As you can see we have manual contrast on the front face. On the left it is the mechanical contact position indicator and it is used to manually control the on and off toggle. In other words it switches on and off the contacts manually without necessarily applying a pulse at the coil. We also have a selector switch on the right and it is used to disconnect remote control during maintenance operation. So this relay uses an electromagnetic mechanism to toggle between on and off states every time a pulse at its coil terminals. So once energized, the relay latches mechanically into the new state. That is, the normally open closes and the normally close opens. I hope that is clear. So it maintains its state even after when power is removed. Now this is very important. To note, I will repeat it again. It maintains its state even after when power is removed. And that is called a bistable function. And now that differentiates this impulse really from the standard from the standard control relays that need continuous coil power or coil supply. So, how does this impulse relay work? If you apply a momentarily pulse or an electrical signal to the coil input, the relay will switch its output contacts from NO to NC and NC to NO. I hope that is clear. If the coil is supplied with a pulse, the normally open contacts will change from NO, that is normally open, to NC, that is normally closed. And the normally closed will change from normally closed to normally open. And I want you to note this. If the power or the impulse or the signal is removed from the coil input, the impulse relay will maintain the contact state of the output contacts. It will not re-energize or change the state of the contacts. So when another pulse is applied at the coil terminals, it will toggle the output contacts back from the NC to NO and NO to NC. In other words, if the pulse is restored onto the coil input terminals, the NC will go back to NO and the NO will go back to NC. And this will continue with each pulse received. Okay, let us summarize this. The closing of the impulse relay poles, that is NC and NO, is triggered by an impulse on the coil. So for example, if there is an impulse on the coil, the output contacts will change state. So this means we will be having two stable mechanical positions. That is terminal 1 and 2, that is NC, and 3, 4, that is normally open. These contacts are independent of each other. And those poles will be opened by the next impulse. So each impulse received by the coil reverses the position of the poles. I repeat, each impulse received on the coil reverses the position of the poles. This relay can be controlled by unlimited number of push buttons. And while it does all that, there is zero energy consumption. Let us look at the applications of this impulse relay. Now, we are going to look at the control systems application and also in the domestic applications. First, we shall, we shall look at the control system. This impulse reel can be used in, in switching contactor coils or loads from multiple push buttons. It can also be used in circuits that require memory-based switching without using PLC logic. It can also be used to replace logic-based latching without a PLC. If you, if you have ever used a PLC, you know what I mean by this. Because when you're programming or when making a program in the PLC, example, for example, ladder logic, you require to make a latching contact, a latching circuit. But when you use this impulse relay, you don't need that. It latches the contacts mechanically. Now, let us look at the domestic applications. It can be used during staircase or corridor lightings. It can also be used in large holes where you want to control one light from many points and it can be used in energy saving system with centralized control. And all those applications I have mentioned above work perfectly without running any complicated wiring like in traditional two-way or three-way switches. That is an impulse relay for you. Thank you.